Hello and welcome. I am Susan C. from the School of Intimacy.com, and I'm here with author of Good Girl's Guide to Great Sex, Sheila Ray Gregoire. And today we're going to be talking about her upcoming course here at the School of Intimacy.com. It's going to be a six week course based upon her book. So, welcome, Sheila. Thanks so much. I am excited about this course, so I'm glad that I have the chance to talk to people about it today. Yes. So I have read your blog off and on for years that to love, honor, and vacuum. And I have just been so impressed with the work you do and the love and the energy you pour into your audience. So for you to now take the wonderful content and the wonderful book you've written and turn it into a course, I think that's exciting. Yeah, because, you know, it's funny when you're, when you're writing all the time, People don't always know who you really are. Yeah. You read the words on the screen, but you can't, you can't really picture the person. And sometimes you write things, and I think they're funny, but people don't take it that way because they don't hear my voice. So um, the neat thing about this course is for people who have been following me for a while, you have read my book, but you just want to hear more of my heart. Mm -hmm. And you learn more by hearing maybe than just by reading. So this is a chance for us to get a little bit more personal and a little, a lot more interactive, a lot more. And, wow. and really learn from each other. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. And as I've already shared with you, but I'll share it with the audience as well. I am the type of person that if I really like someone, I buy their book, I want to support them, or I subscribe to their blog because I really believe in the message that they're sharing. But once the book comes and I thumb through it, I might read a chapter or two, the book then ends up on the shelf and I'm not really finishing it. And maybe I have a fear of finishing things, that could be it. But <laughs> if I sign up for a course, you know, and I've really dedicated that time on the calendar, and be honest, I've dedicated money from my wallet, I'm going to be faithful in getting that done. But then by going through it step by step with a group, which is what you're designing, then I want to be a part of the group and I want to move forward. There's accountability there for me, and it's really becoming a part of my life. Yeah, and let's and let's just tell people what that group is going to look like, so that they don't get all scared. It, it's not it's not like you have to tell your deepest sexual secrets to dozens of women, not at all. Um, but what it is 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 every every Monday night, I'm going to have not exactly a lecture. I'm going to teach you on a certain topic. So we're going to go through six weeks. We're going to look at what God designed sex for is our first week. The second week is how God made us different, men and women, because it really looks like one big cosmic joke sometimes when you look at it, but there was a purpose to it. So we'll look at why he made us different. And then we'll look at the three different areas of intimacy, physical intimacy, spiritual intimacy, and emotional intimacy, and see how we can boost them. And then we'll put it all together at the end. So that's kind of what we're going to be covering in the six weeks. But it's not like you're at university where you're sitting in a lecture hall and you're just listening. I am going to be talking, so you'll be hearing my voice. But there's also a chat box there where you can send questions either anonymously if you want or um, just send them on if you want clarification. I'll be raising things for discussion so you can all chime in on that. I, again, either anonymously or not, it's your choice. Um, and so there is going to be a lot of interaction. And if you have questions that, that you're just not sure of or that I've never really dealt with on my blog, this is the chance to really get them answered. And you know what you're probably going to find is that all the other women there probably have the same questions yeah. yes <laughs> so exactly you'll find out you're not alone you're not weird we all have we all ha struggle in a lot of areas and so this is just a chance to to realize you aren't alone a chance to get together with other women and talk about some things so that we can encourage each other on and spur each other on both to more godliness and to a better marriage yes so what about that woman who says I'm just not sure if this is for me. Like, who, who would you say this course is for you if? Like, who would you say? There's a whole bunch of people. So let me use, I'm going to use three different examples, okay? okay. So let's do first, we'll call her Jenny, all right? Mm -hmm. so, so Jenny just got married, and Jenny is all excited 
about this area of her life and Jenny wants her sex life to be all that it can be but she just got married she doesn't really know what she's doing and it's just gotten kind of awkward and maybe it's not as good as she thought it was going to be so this is perfect for her because we're going to talk about how um, how to make it better and you'll also learn that it does take people a while sometimes to get it right and if you can put the work in at the beginning and figure some of these things out at the beginning it is so much better so so it's great for Jenny but now let's look at Kelly okay so Kelly's been been married for 10 years and Kelly has a whole bunch of little kids and she's just tired all the time but she feels herself getting more distant from her husband and it's not that they're not having sex it's just that life has gotten kind of boring yeah. and she just she doesn't want it to be that way she doesn't want it to stay that way so she wants to boost things and so this is a chance just to invigorate yourself to encourage yourself to get yourself motivated for how we can move forward so that's Jenny and that's Kelly and then and then we'll take we'll take Betty okay and Betty's been married for 15 years and Betty Betty has abuse in her background and Betty's husband has dabbled in porn a bit and there's just been some hurt in this area of their life and Betty Betty just doesn't quite see how sex can be a good thing you know, she, she knows that's what God says. She knows that it's supposed to be. She hears those sermons on Song of Solomon once a year, and but she just doesn't get it. It doesn't compute for her, and, and her husband has hurt her in this. But she says, you know, I, I believe there's something more out there for me. Like, I believe I'm missing out on something, and I don't get it, but I think there's got to be something more. And so for the Bettys of this world who maybe have lost a little bit of hope and things just aren't working and they don't see how sex is supposed to be a positive thing, this can be a real healing time for you mm. because we are going to talk about what God made intimacy for because our main need is not for sex. Our main need is for intimacy, and we experience intimacy through sex but it's really intimacy that's the core and so we're gonna look at why God made it that way that is huge what you just said so you say sex and intimacy are actually two different things and you get intimacy through sex sex mm -hmm. is not intimacy it, it isn't necessarily no it certainly can be and that's mm -hmm. what I want to show you is how it can be a tremendously intimate thing but I think for many people it hasn't been because you know we grow up in a culture which has totally taken sex out of the marriage relationship and when you do that all you have is the physical mm -hmm. so it isn't about intimacy it's only about physical fireworks and by the way I'm not against physical fireworks we're gonna talk in detail in this course on how you can get that um, so I'm not against it mm -hmm. at all. I'm very pro fireworks. But if you make sex only about that, you lose out on so much more of what God designed it for. And I think that's when sex becomes dirty. That's when sex becomes shallow. That's when we start to have these, these really shameful feelings about it because we don't see all the other things that God made sex for. That is exciting. And the other thing that we've designed with this course is for those learners who want something tangible to follow along with while you're teaching, we have handouts for them. For those who life happens and they have to miss a Monday night class, we have the replays available for them to watch the replay so they don't have to feel like they missed out and said, I missed class, I didn't get to hear what she taught. They could watch it at any time. Yeah. Uh, we've also got hand homework that they have after you teach. So we have some practical next steps for them to take so that they're not just reading your book or not just watching and participating on cl in the class, but they also have, this is what I could do next with this information. Yeah, and no one's going to take up that homework. Honestly, it's not like I'm going to be sitting over your shoulder saying, did you do it? But let me tell you something. This is why we do the class, okay? Because I can write all this stuff on the blog. I can write it, you can read it, you can read the book, but if you don't do anything, it hasn't actually made a change in your life. So this whole class is about how to actually own it and how to actually bring it home and make it practical and real in your life. Mm, that sounds great. Yeah, that's right. So... I'm just excited. It looked like I had a technical glitch on my end, but it looked like it flowed for you. So I'm glad that it worked out. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. You got to love technology sometimes and other times you just kind of want to throw it out the window. So 
<laughs> and maybe we should even say that about the technology too. So the technology that we're going to be using on Monday nights is they're going to be able to, you're going to be able to hear me and there's also going to be on the screen a place for chat box and you'll see PowerPoint slides and all kinds of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And if you have a really slow internet speed, this is one thing with the, that Susan and I were talking about is you can phone in. Yes. Listen to it on the phone and then just mute your computer so that you can still see the slides in the chat box and stuff like that. Cause I know sometimes it's the it's the the video and the audio that is difficult if you have a slow computer speed. So if you do, you can still join us and you can still hear everything. And we would love for you to do that because I'll be there each week. I'll be there to greet you as you come in the classroom and welcome you and just champion you for making it because we know that coming in in the evening there's dinner there's kids there's all these other things that are going on so to make it into the classroom is a big deal uh, I'll be there to greet you I'm also the one that will make sure you have everything you need each week and make sure that you get a uh, message saying that the replay is available for you to go watch that so we've done all that we can to craft this course such that so that you feel cared for and thought about and prepared to succeed we want to build the platform for you so that you really do learn what you need to experience the intimacy in your marriage and in your relationship that you desire yeah, and I, I, I really am excited about this because my heart, I'm really a teacher. I, I love speaking. I speak all over North America. But so much of what I've done in the last few years has been writing. And while I do love writing, and that's great, I don't get the feedback. You know, you send a blog post out there on the blogosphere, and sure, you get comments, but you don't really get the immediate feedback. So I'm excited just to get the chance to interact with some of these ladies and, and to actually talk. Um, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It is. So we hope that if you are interested in this, you can go to theschoolofintimacy.com. You can read all about the course. You can read about Sheila. You can read about myself. And you can learn, think about whether this course is for you. We hope that you would consider it, that you would join us. It's going to be a wonderful group of women and an incredible six weeks with Sheila. We appreciate your time. And uh, that's it for us. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye-bye.